line, this is the same height as this. So on both sides of the line, they're the same height. What we're going to do is carve on this side of the line to make this whole area seem like it's lower than this or that this is layering on top of this. And it's just a little trick that we're going to fool the viewer's eye. Um, but how we do that is we're going to take the, uh, the ca uh, carving tool here and let's see, I'm going to start up here. I'm going to be on the left side of the line because I want the left part of the shape to be low. And I'm going to lay the tool flat, but then I'm going to tilt the left edge up. So as I pull along the line, only the right side of the tool is actually carving, touching and carving the clay. The left part, and I want to point for the camera, this corner right here is up in the air. It is not touching the surface of the clay. So as I pull along the line, I get a very distinct mark. Okay, so let's look at that mark. Um, remember with the step stone, we talked about the, the tops of the positive shapes being the plateau, and we talked about the negative shapes as being the valley below. Salud. Um, and if this is mini me, right, tiny little me, is on the surface, and I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, and I get to the edge of the cliff, and I jump off, I land at the bottom, at the base of the cliff, but let's say I'm uninjured, I'm Superman now. So I'm running up this gentle slope, see it's sloping upward till I get to this line, this ridge line right here, I cross that line and now I'm back on the plateau. You see how that just worked? Okay, and you guys are kind of far away, it might be hard to see, but it'll, it'll be much easier to see in the video. Is it looking good, Cameron? Okay. All right, so that's step one, that's the first mark. The second thing I'm gonna do with the tool is take the flat part and just gently scrape or rake right along the edge of that ridge line. I'm going to try to get the ridge line to go away. So if we can make the ridge line unnoticeable, it's going to fool the viewer's eye into thinking that this is still lower than that, even though it eventually raises up. So I'm using the flat part. I could also use the curved side of, of the uh, pointy end of the tool but I'm trying to get the ridge line to go away. And do you see the ridge line anymore? Okay, oh, can you hand me a spray bottle really fast, please? So this is step two. Step three, I'm gonna finger polish because if I look real closely, I can see the clay has been carved. But if I can polish that carved texture away and create this more smooth skin surface, it can really seem like um, the surface was just born this way. And that's what we want. Just like with the step stones, we want to get rid of all evidence of tools. It's not important how it was made. We want to fool the eye into thinking that this may be some kind of organic shape that either naturally occurred in nature or evolved in nature or grew in nature. Um, and so this is what we end up with. So this is higher, this is lower. And I, which side is high and which side is low is totally up to you. Um, how you lay out the lines in, your, in the pattern on your surface is totally up to you. But I will tell you with this one, I was looking at lines that already exist in the design and trying to, to lay my new lines in a way that kind of makes sense or fits what's already happening there. Um, so that's how this works. Uh, this is relief carving on a, step, on a pinch pot. Oh, the thing I forgot to say. How deep can you go? Um, no more than one third of the wall's thickness. So check your thickness. I'm feeling my thickness right now, and it's about that thick, okay? So I can only take away one third of that, which is about that much, about the thickness of a nickel, okay? How th the thicker your walls are, the deeper you can carve. The thinner they are, um, the less you can carve. But do not carve more than one third of the wall away when you're doing this, okay? So this is how to relief carve on a hollow form. And uh, this is one of the decoration techniques I want you to show me on your pinch pots. Any questions? No. All right. Go to it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cameron.